The German consultancy group VGBE Energy has released a 600-page report commissioned by National Treasury on the state of ESCOM's power plants. And the findings are frightening. German engineers from VGBE spent four and a half months studying ESCOM's fleet and have warned that South Africa faces the very real apocalyptic possibility of stage 13 load shedding. The report highlights that this is a very real possibility that will happen if massive change is not urgently made at ESCOM. This catastrophic event will happen as the result of the failure of raw water treatment plants at the coal power stations. Coal power stations use a massive amount of water, which they cannot simply get from the tap. As a result, coal power stations need to have their own raw water treatment plants. These treatment plants take raw water from nature and clean it so that it can be used in the power plant to cool equipment and produce steam to drive the turbines. Without this water, there is no electricity. However, many of these critical raw water treatment plants are failing, and if they fail, it would mean the loss of 13,640 megawatts, stage 13 load shedding. But despite the fact that the raw water treatment plants are vital to the survival of ESCOM and the country, they have been allowed to deteriorate to the point of failure. According to the report, unless urgent work is done to fix the situation, it will result in total collapse. What is clear from the report is that government has been lying to us about the actual state of ESCOM. It's even worse than we thought. The report claims that the cause of ESCOM's problems is not a mystery and that both the cause and the solutions are known. The problem is not that we don't know why ESCOM is failing or how to fix it, but that the ANC does not want to take the necessary action. According to the report, the current electricity crisis can only be overcome in the power plants, which is why it is imperative that they are empowered right away to manage the technical turnaround without being hampered by lengthy company procedures. This means that the power plants need to be run independently by competent people and not micromanaged by a dysfunctional ESCOM hierarchy. The problem with ESCOM is centralized control at a government level. Instead of allowing competent, qualified people to run the power plants, all decision-making in ESCOM is controlled by the ANC via ESCOM headquarters. This allows for the control of ESCOM resources for the purpose of looting. It also means that bad policies and bad decisions affect the entire system. The problem with centralized control is that it allows one point of failure to destroy the entire system. If bad decisions are made at the top, the entire system suffers. If you poison the source of a river, that poison will infect the entire river system. This is exactly what happens at ESCOM. The poison of corruption and incompetence starts at the top and infects the entire system. The solution is for power plants to be able to run independently without political interference. In that case, one badly run plant would not place the entire system in jeopardy. The report highlights that unless there is immediate intervention, the situation will continue to escalate. In other words, unless we change how ESCOM is run, we will face the disaster of stage 13 or even total grid collapse. If the very real possibility of stage 13 load shedding does not wake South Africans up to the fact that the ANC is a threat to this country, then nothing will. If voters choose to give the ANC another five years in power, there will be no power and nothing left of the country. Like the problems at ESCOM, the cause and solution to our problems facing South Africa are known. 
The problem is the ANC, and the solution is to vote them out. The only question is, will we have the courage to take the necessary action?